this video, uh, we're trying to figure out model uh, Sam's walk. He walks for a total of five hours along a straight path. During the first three hours, he walked at an average rate of five miles per hour. During the next two hours, he walked at an average rate of three miles per hour. So we want to write a formula that it gives the distance that Sam walks as a function of time. Well, because his rate of change changes, we can't model this with a single linear function. We're going to need two of them. So first off, we know that he walks at 5 miles per hour from 0 to 3 hours. So 5 miles per hour, and he had gone no distance at no time. So 5h when h ranges from 0 to 3. Okay, because there's our 5 miles an hour, that's our rate of change. The y-intercept is 0 because he started at 0. Now that covers the first 3 hours, so we're right here. And now we need the last 2 hours. Well now he's going average rate of 3 miles per hour, so that'll be 3h. Now here's where we have to be a little bit careful, because it might be tempting to pick e here. Remember, this is happening between 3 hours and... 5 hours. So, his time has now changed. <clears throat> for instance, when he's walked for 4 hours, he's gone 18 miles. If I just leave it like this, this says if he's walked 4 hours, he's only gone 12 miles. Well, we know he's already gone at least 15 miles. So we have to make up for that. So we know that 3 hours... 3 miles per hour for 4 hours plus some y-intercept needs to be equal to 18. So we have 12 plus b equals 18. And they get that b equals 6. So this should actually be 3h plus 6 because he's switching rate, but we're not starting all over again. He's already gone a certain number of miles. So we do need to add that uh, 6 on to the end there. And that'll give us answer B.